it's no secret that a lot of changes are coming to mining in the 3.3 update for Elite Dangerous. However, this has sparked a lot of questions that I've seen both on my live streams, comment section, and over on Discord. And I've taken some of those questions together with some of the questions of my own, I sent them over to Frontier, and I managed to get an interview in place. And that's what we're going to listen to today, so I hope you'll enjoy it. <laughs> Hello, Will, and um, thanks a lot for taking the time to have a chat with me. Um, hello to you. And hello. Thank you for having me. Yeah. So you are the one of the community content managers at Frontier, and people will most likely know you from the live streams on the official channel. You'll be doing a lot of the announcements for the um, the upcoming 3.3 update. Is that correct? That's right. Yeah, yeah that's right. And uh, and today we're going to have a little bit of chat about the upcoming uh, mining changes. And yes. the first thing I want to to dive into is uh, is a comment that I've seen a lot of people post, and that is uh, there's a confusion about the um, the tools and how the new mining tools and how they are supposed to be uh, quote unquote used. Um, mm -hmm. A lot of people seem to think that they are a replacement for the current mining lasers, and they always ask, "Is this new system going to be better than the old one?" So, can mm -hmm. you clarify for us how this new the new mining tools were intended to be used? So. Uh yeah, uh, definitely. The new tools that we've introduced in with Beyond Chapter 4, the new mining tools such as the subsurface uh, missiles, um, the seismic charges, and the abrasion blaster, all of those are designed to be additive and not take away from the pre-existing uh, tool, the mining laser that exists. Um, they're, to, they're there to provide players with more gameplay options and choices and approaches to mining. Um, and as we have clarified sort of on posts here and there on the live stream, it doesn't take away from the mining laser. People can still go out and use the mining laser. Um, it's, and it's, it's an effective and viable uh, option for miners, especially for newcoming, newcomer miners who are um, in smaller ships. Yeah, absolutely. And that's also how I feel it, it works the best as an addition to, uh, to the current system. So we would most likely be using, using both. Yeah. And... Especially from a gameplay point of view, um, I think most people would agree that the new mining tools is a huge addition. It adds a lot more player skill into uh, into mining than uh, than we did before. Yeah, but definitely. A, yeah, yeah, but from a huge from a pure pr profit perspective, um, so far it haven't done uh, a whole lot for the the pure profit from uh, from minings. And I know that right now we are still running the uh, the beta, so we are still running on hot numbers. Um, yep. But are you planning to bring the profit from mining more in line with other activities like bounty hunting? So it, this is a really interesting question because, um, well, firstly, it's precisely why we run, run the beta. We want to be able to identify where the problem areas are um, and what needs correcting or balancing. And when I say balancing, it isn't just reducing numbers, it's also increasing them as well. Um, so what you've mentioned there is exactly that. We're continually reviewing all of the profit, profits from different gameplay activities, not just mining. Um, and if you are, you know, if you have tuned into the, the beta uh, this week, um, you'll see that we have introduced some things, and I think we'll answer it in a minute. Yeah. Yeah, because um, that's, that's what, I, what I want to ask, Nick, is if you're planning to increase the, uh, the payout from, uh, from mining as it stands in the uh, in the current, uh, this current week three of the beta, week four is just about to go live at the time of this recording. Yes. Um, and so, if you're planning to do an increase in the profit from from mining, uh, how are you planning to do that? So, as commanders uh, may have already seen by the time they listen to this, um, we have tried to address this in in, in beta week four. Um, we've introduced new materials that can only be found within mother loads. You have to crack them open to get them. Um, and these new commodities are very precious uh, and lucrative for miners looking to make money. They won't be able to find these materials anywhere else. Um, but you know, as with all numbers in regard to mining, exploration, missions, bounty hunting, we're continuing to keep an eye on it and change it where needed, adjust it where needed. So if you do feel that the numbers aren't good enough, um, you, you should be earning more credits for the activities you're doing, please share that feedback with us because I know uh, the team are keeping an eye on that and looking into it. Yeah, this is absolutely the right time to do it during a, a beta period when things are still being uh, up in the air and can be rebalanced easily. Um, and I really like the idea of having uh, like dedicated materials for mother loads. That, that's a really good idea, actually. 
Yeah. Um, one thing I've also noticed is that the new mining tools, um, they require a lot of hard points. And if you also want to bring a few mining lasers along, maybe some weapons to defend against pirates, you have a huge constraint on your num of the number of hard points that you have. And this has reduced the number of effective ships that uh, could be used for mining to about a handful. So do you have any plans to, um, um, to resolve this in somehow, either through uh, changing the, the, the tools or new ships or maybe dedicated mining hard points or something along those lines? So we have looked at the feedback and we are taking it on board. Um, we have seen seen these kind of comments crop up when we sort of announced the, fir uh, the first mining tools and then people were able to get their hands on those tools and try them out in game. But unfortunately, I don't have anything to announce about that at this time. Okay. I have a question that's not directly related to, to mining, but it, it could somehow. Uh, back in May this year, you had a bonus weekend where the increase mm -hmm. from the payout from the from trading was increased and engineering cost was reduced. Is this something we will uh, ever see again? So it's, so it's, interest, it's an interesting question. Um, and I think that event was an interesting one for the Elite Dangerous community because we hadn't really seen anything like that before. No, exactly. um, I know that these kind of things happen in other games. Um, I've, I've worked on games previously where we had these sort of these bonus XP weekends, as you will. Um, and I think those particular bonus weekends that we did originally were a bit of a test for us because it's the first time doing it. Um, and I think it's something we at Frontier would like to revisit in the future. We saw that a lot of commanders even jumped in on the game got involved with the, the bonus uh, weekend events um, for trading and engineering. And I think that was really great to see. And I think that that shows there there is success with these events. Um, to talk about future future bonus XP weekends that we might see, or, or bonus credit weekends, or bonus something weekends, um, these kind of events may not necessarily be the same every time. So the bonuses that are in these events may not necessarily be the same. I mean, it is something we can adjust for the future. Uh, for example, some bonus weekends might offer an increased rank gain, bounty payouts, yeah. um, and there's other things that we can tweak as well. I can't provide any concrete details on when those uh, bonus weekends might come and what bonuses might be included in those, um, but I, I can definitely confirm it's something we'd like to revisit in the future. That's great, because I, I think it was, uh, was a great way, and I, I, I think you must have seen a, an increase in, uh, in player numbers doing that uh, that weekend, and yeah. Yeah. Um, one last question, and I know this is a bit of a stretch and you most likely can't reveal much about this, but I wanted to ask mm -hmm. anyway, uh, are you planning any further mining content in the next year's updates? So yeah, unfortunately, I have to give you the sad answer is that I can't announce anything in this interview about future, future updates or content for Elite Dangerous. Um, but I will say this, keep an eye on the official forums for all of our updates. We share it with you there. We'll do live streams. Um, Beyond Chapter 4 isn't the end. There is more to come. And uh, we'll be talking about that in the new year. Okay. I will definitely be keeping an eye on that. Um, I think that uh, that is it. Thanks a lot, Will, for taking the time to have this uh, quick chat with me. Thanks to you, um, Down to Earth Astronomy. Awesome yep. stuff that you do. Thank um, you. And yeah, uh, look forward to hearing your feedback as well on... on all of the stuff we're doing for Beyond Chapter 4. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.